Well, Merry Christmas to all those who celebrate that. If you don't, then a uh, happy 25th of December. I plan on eating Chinese food at some point today, possibly seeing a movie, and if I can work it out, uh, see the Doctor Who Christmas special. Good noon time, shunshiners and possibly shunshaders. So I'm attempting to make a smoothie. You're attempting? Okay, with my mom's help. And uh, one of the issues that may have arose last time was putting the ice in first. Apparently you put the fruit in first and then the ice. Or you use frozen fruit, but we don't have any frozen fruit. Blueberries, banana, pineapple, some ginger, a little bit of beet, some carrots, and some cucumber is going into this smoothie, right? Yeah. Hopefully it tastes good. Okay, moment of truth. So taste the beets a little bit. Yeah, tastes almost exactly like the previous smoothie I made because of the beets. Wow, no matter how much you put in there, it's with all that pineapple and all that banana and some ginger, you can still taste that little sliver of beet. <laughs> yep. The beet is what turned it kind of red. It also uh, gives it a lot of the flavor for the tiniest little bit we put in there. Yes, we are perpetuating a Jewish stereotype and eating Chinese on Christmas. Christmas special. Okay, here's the proof. I mean, technically me and Sam are having Japanese food because uh, it's sushi, but my parents are eating Chinese food. When you feel defensive, examine what you fear. In bed. In bed. <laughs> um, you have an uncanny willingness and ability to help others. In bed. In bed. Uh, um... That's what she said. <laughs> the surest way to have nothing to give is to give nothing in bed. And uh, the usefulness of a cup is in its emptiness in bed. In bed. So back in Dover, we had uh, BBC America on our cable package. We don't here in Manchester. So I've been trying for the past couple of hours to find a live stream on the internet. The only live streams that exist are for BBC One, which in England, the Doctor Who Christmas special already premiered so uh, that didn't work out so now I'm trying to contact friends to see if they're in New Hampshire and uh, watching the episode but a lot of my friends are out of New Hampshire for Christmas obviously um, and uh, the few that are are in Dover and so that's like an hour drive for a 40 minute episode and then right back so it's not exactly worth it so looks like I'm going to have to get off social media from 9 o'clock until uh, whenever I get to see the episode tomorrow so that should be fun yep we don't get BBC America well because I am unable to see Doctor Who we are perpetuating another stereotype and going to the movies on Christmas. So we wound up seeing The Secret Life of Walter Mitty because I had already seen Catching Fire and uh, my brother was not feeling well at the time so he wasn't with us and he really wants to see Desolation of Smog which my parents had already seen so we had to choose a movie that we all hadn't seen at the time that Sam would not be too upset about not seeing um, and uh, it turned out to be a pretty good movie actually 
um, with the oh so very cheesy moral of live life to its fullest, essentially. Um, like, essentially that was what the um, moral of the story was. And it was quite interesting and actually, from a technical standpoint, I'm learning at school how to analyze movies for their technical aspect. Um, it was actually pretty well done as well. I especially liked how um, certain like text that was important was like woven into the background, but not subtly. Sometimes movies do subtly weave important things into the background, but it wasn't subtle, and I thought that was really cool. Anyways, uh, I'm not gonna spoil the movie, so that's my review of it, I guess, if you can call it that. So after I got back, uh, my brother convinced me to uh, watch the Total Drama series, the episodes I hadn't seen, Total Drama Island, um, Action, World Tour, Revenge of the Island, and um, All Stars, I believe those are the varying titles of that series. Um, but I said, in order to do that, we are going to binge watch from the first episode of the first season. A season which I have mostly seen but don't exactly remember. So we're in the process of doing that. But I need to get to bed because I have a doctor's visit tomorrow. Uh, it's the follow-up appointment to my uh, emergency room visit after I was hit by a car. Yeah, technically that should have been closer to the time I got hit by a car. But my insurance doesn't really cover primary care doctors in Florida. So I had to wait until I was in New Hampshire. So that is happening tomorrow and I need to be awake before one. So good night who's ever's watching this. See you tomorrow. Well I won't see you but you will see me. Ow my elbow. Awkward cut to outro. There's a vlog on the web featuring Ben Stock that he shoots every day as he walks and talks. If you're Bigfoot in the woods or producers in LA, you should stop all your shit and watch Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Sunshine Shade. Has nothing to do with Florida, but it's great. If you can't wait, don't get irate. Just stay in your sheet, cause it's Sunshine Shade.